Um, and we're going to start off by looking at the stress makers, those things that create stress in our lifestyle. The interesting thing about stress is that we, our reaction to stress, uh, our body's reaction to stress, is actually very well designed. For the majority of human beings being on Earth, stress has been, uh, has been very interesting because a an, natural reaction to stress looks pretty much like this, this, uh, this uh, 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 overhead, the graph you see on the wall there. Um, that's a natural day for the average human being for the majority of the 100,000 years that human beings have been kicking around on the Earth. Um, if you were to take a caveman 20,000 years ago, for instance, the caveman would have a pretty stressless life, except when he went out to hunt his breakfast or his dinner. And he'd go out hunting, he'd go around a corner, and he'd face a saber-toothed tiger, for instance. Now, he's got two choices, two things he can do when he faces a saber-toothed tiger. What are the things he can do? Run or fight. That's it. He's only got two choices here. He can either run like mad or fight. If it was me, of course, I'd be running <laughs> like mad. But those are the choices. Now, our body has been brilliantly well designed to support us running or fighting. And that's the way in which our body reacts when we're facing a saber-toothed tiger. So if we were to have a look at the body's reaction here, we'd start off with um, our breathing gets faster. Now, of course, our breathing gets faster to take more oxygen into the body so that we can get stronger to run or fight. That's what it's for. Our heartbeat gets faster. So our heartbeat's pumping very much faster to pump around the oxygen in the bloodstream into the body, right down into the muscles to make them stronger. Adrenaline is released into the body. It's a wonderful drug, adrenaline. We produce this ourselves and it's brilliant. It rushes into the body to create strength and power. When you've got adrenaline rushing around, you're stronger. It helps you fight or run away. Uh, your muscles tense up and are ready to act. Your stomach stops digesting food. In fact, all non-essential processes stop when you are uh, uh, in that fearful situation of fighting or running away. All non-essential body processes stop altogether. Um, then you in perspiration increases to cool you down as you're fighting or running. Then your senses are heightened and your brain activity is heightened. All of these things are fantastic for the average uh, caveman who faces a saber-toothed tiger. This has probably contributed dramatically to the saviour of the human race over the period of uh, uh, 100,000 years. However, our stress lifestyle doesn't look like that any longer. Um, the, av the unnatural stress levels that you, or we all face in business nowadays looks very different. Um, so we would wake up in the morning feeling pretty cool and relaxed, then we have a cup of coffee or tea or whatever we fancy, and then we get in the car on our way to work, and there's the first point in the, on the drive to work. Um, then, of course, you're facing that road rage. Not you, of course, it's everybody else, but you have to react to it. Um, so that's stressful. Then you get to work and it's relaxing for a little bit until the phone rings. Then you get up onto that plateau of stress, and throughout the day that plateau is non-stop for many of us. Uh, there's customers, there's the, the staff complaining, there's the phone ringing all the time, there's the boss wanting more figures, there's problems on the production line, there's non-stop stress. And then, of course, towards the end of the day, you relax in the evening, perhaps just before you go home, you'll have a beer with the guys in the bar before you go home, and then you get back into the traffic again, and up goes the stress levels. And then you get home, and you relax for five minutes, and then you have a row with a teenage child, or with, a, or with your husband or your wife, and up goes the stress levels again. And for the average person, stress is a very different issue than it was 20,000 years ago. But our body is still reacting to that, as if we were facing the saber-toothed tiger. That's how our body reacts. And of course, cumulatively, that creates a problem. So our body is now, the breathing gets faster, no problem for short periods of time, but for long periods of time, causes real issues. Um, we eventually hyperventilate if we're not careful. The heart beats faster, no problem for short periods of time, but if our heart beats, beats faster for long periods of time, our heart isn't designed to work like that. We cannot keep it going faster non-stop. It eventually will stop working for you. And of course, what we're talking about there is a heart attack. Um, adrenaline is released into the body, fantastic for short periods of time. But for long periods of time, the problem with adrenaline is it is addictive. 
and many of us get addicted to adrenaline. Uh, if you're not sure whether you're addicted to adrenaline or not, have a couple of weeks holiday. The first weekend will be fine, but then Monday morning you'll begin to wonder, I wonder if they're coping you know, at work. Are they, are, they, are they coping without me? Can they manage? Did my secretary make that phone call, that appointment? Because you're missing the adrenaline high that's rushed through your body. It's an addictive drug. Um, and if we, if we, if we are non-stop stressed, we get addicted to adrenaline. It's called the deadly high. And I know from personal experience how wonderful that deadly high can be, but watch out, because it is deadly and eventually will drag you down. Muscles tense and prepared to act, no problem for short periods of time, but for long periods of time, no wonder we go home with backache. Ever gone home with backache and wondered why you have? It's because you've been tense all day, creates problems for us. Stomach stops digesting food, no problem for short periods of time, but long periods of time, real issues. Ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome, and all sorts of other uh, 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 problems are created by that. Um, perspiration increases, senses are heightened. These things we, we become aware of, and there's nothing wrong with heightening senses for periods of time. Um, but remember this, for every high, there's got to be a balancing low somewhere along the line. So be very careful with stress. Don't ignore it, um, because it's not, cause, it's not doing us any good at all.